All right, this video is more of a warning to the Uber drivers out there. I just want to help watch out for the people out there um, just to give them some better insight on some things that could happen and, you know, maybe they could do, go through some preparations. Um, I've been working for Uber for maybe about six months. I really do love the job. I do Uber Select. I only do the Uber Select and that's it, um, which is the luxury vehicles. I don't do that many drives, but I do a decent amount. Um, you know, just enough to make a few hundred dollars a week or something like that, or a few hundred dollars a month. Um, I didn't really have any problems until maybe about a couple weeks ago. I just want to share my experiences with the people out there so then they could understand that these are some things that can potentially happen. So what happened was I, I had a call, you know, in Skokie, you know, in, I live in Chicago, or I live in Illinois, but Skokie's a suburb in Illinois, and I had a call over there. So three people jumped into the car, and then they wanted me to take them to the south side of Chicago. All right, so, which was pretty far drive, maybe about 50 minutes away, and maybe about 20 miles or so. So I was like, okay, that's fine, you know, um, but then they said, hey, you know, can you make some stops in between? I said, that's no problem, you know. So they had me make a stop, and then they kept having me make more stops and more stops. One person jumped out the car, and then I ended up driving two people. So going into the drive, maybe about 30 minutes into the drive, and then all of a sudden they're like, well, what are you doing tonight? I'm like, nothing. They're like, well, you'll be with us, you know. We're going to have you for the whole night. So... They ended up having me drive them the whole night. I picked them up maybe around, I think it was 8, 39 p.m. And they kept having me drive them everywhere all throughout Chicago and making stops here and there. And I ended up driving them until like 4.19 in the morning. So it was over a six-hour drive that I drove them. And it was a total of about 176 miles that I drove in one night. So after I dropped them off the last stop, you know, um, they did take me into some rough neighborhoods and they asked me to smoke in the car and I would never usually let people smoke in the car but I figured hey you know I didn't know how long the drive was gonna be and I was like whatever you could just smoke. So they were smoking in the car and it was late at night rough neighborhoods and you know it was pretty unsafe but I felt okay I was willing to take the risk because of the money that I was gonna make or what I thought I was gonna make so I dropped them off what happened and then I just complete the trip and then it takes some processing time for them to tell you how much money you're gonna make and then maybe 15 minutes later um, they said oh you know they credited my account, I think it was like $363. And then all of a sudden they took the money away and then it was an adjustment and it said fraud adjustment. So they put the money in the account and they immediately took it back out. So what I did, I just messaged, I do, went through the message center into the Uber app, asked what was going on and said, why am I not getting paid for this trip? I ended up getting a message back um, saying, well, you know, this is not a legitimate trip. This is a fraudulent trip and you're not going to get paid for it. So I kept messaging them back saying, you know, that this was not a fraudulent trip. You guys are the ones who sent me to this call. And I completed the drive. I did what I was asked. I deserve to get paid. So they kept messaging me back. There's probably like over seven or eight people that were messaging me back saying that they would not pay me. You know, and I was really upset. I was really upset, you know, and they said, oh, you know, through our investigation, you know, it was determined that this is not a legitimate um, ride. So we're not going to pay you. And if you if you do this again, then we might fire you or delete you from the 
from being able to access the application. You know, I was really upset because for one, I put in all that time into driving. You know, I put the wear and tear in my car. I put money for gas. And I put my safety at risk. You know, it was late at night and it was really rough neighborhoods and anything could have happened. You know, I mean, I could have been led into a dark alley and then they, you know, could have shot me with a gun from behind and then all of a sudden, you know, I'm dead, I'm a dead person. You know, so I was really upset and I didn't know how to handle the situation. I kept trying to message back and forth. I went through the app and then went online and then, you know, I did everything I was supposed to. And they kept telling me that they were not going to pay me. And then they're, in their app, they tell you there's a map that shows you where you drove. It, it shows you how many miles you drove and how long you drove from which point to which point. They had that into the app and I was referencing that information. As I was messaging these, these, you know, these Uber support people, they told me they were not gonna pay me over and over again and then all of a sudden they deleted that evidence that I even completed the trip. So they deleted it and then it made it seem as if I didn't even do the trip. And then I didn't, at the time, I didn't know how to do a screenshot of the information on my telephone. So I didn't have any evidence, you know, once they deleted the evidence from their application. And then I got really upset, you know, I was like, to myself, I'm like, you know what, even though I love working for them, there's no way that I could continue working for them when this is how they treated me, you know. Not only did they not pay me for the services that I delivered, but in addition, they even accused me of fraudulent activities, of which there was nothing I did fraudulent. And another thing is their investigation didn't even include questioning me on anything. They didn't message me to ask any questions. They never called me. They didn't even investigate my side. They just basically said that they're not going to pay me and then all of a sudden they destroyed the evidence that was showing that I actually completed those trips. So that was what was going on and then I kept messaging back and forth and then finally I don't know if it was the way that I said it but I was like look you know I love working for you guys you know but this is just not fair I mean I completed the trip and I deserve to get paid for this trip, you know, and eventually somebody messaged me back and said that they're going to pay me. So when they said that, um, the information from the ride came back, they ended up crediting my account, and then eventually I ended up getting paid for that ride. But that was my story, you know, that that's what happened with the Uber. Um, I really enjoy do you know I really do enjoy working for them you know and it's a very flexible job they pay well and I love doing it you know just driving people around helping people get from one place to another and getting paid for it um, it's just that what happened right there was I shouldn't have to when I complete trips, I shouldn't have to be worried about not getting paid for completing these trips. You know, if these people stole a credit card or, or got access to an account of which they didn't, you know, weren't supposed to have access to, that's not my fault. You know, they send me to a call, I complete the call, that's not my fault. You know, so I think that, you know, just things need to be improved as far as protecting the drivers are concerned and treatment of the drivers and you know overall just a you know you know preventing things like this from happening you know because it wasn't a good feeling to do that you know to go through all that and then, then having to fight for the money that you've earned you know, maybe there should be a, a better tracking system where, you know, 
where it's more certain that rides were actually completed and there's just no questions that it wasn't completed you know because I actually did complete the ride it was not it was not any fraudulent activities going on as far as at least on my end and I think that things need to be better managed you know to protect the drivers from experiencing what I've experienced you know so it's just something that I wanted to share you know just as like a documentation of what happened and also just a a warning to the people out there that, that work for them you know to to be aware of that you know that when you accept rides you know if these people start asking for, you know for you know to have to, to have you work for them longer you know just to have in the back of your mind well how am I gonna complete these rides and making sure that I will get paid for my time you know because this is a very rare situation where these riders requested me for pretty much the whole night um, so that's my experience that I wanted to share and, and hopefully it does help some of the uber drivers out there into you know at least being more prepared you know better prepared than at least I was you know if something like this ever happens to them <laughs>